Do we have anyone else in the audience from the UN? <laughs> no, okay, good. So, <laughs> you're an architect. Okay, that's pretty cool too. The architect about in Vienna, something we could have seen or somewhat. Oh, now that was the most arrogant somewhat I ever heard. <laughs> I feel like it's like the kid, we have seen anything. It's like, well, I don't know. Have you heard of Volksoper? <laughs> like, it's it, it, like. Have you seen a votive kirche? Have you seen, like, it's going to be like one of Vienna's biggest fucking. Okay. You know, I designed the canal. Like, okay. <laughs> it's like, wow, how did you do that? Well, when I was a kid, I always used to play in the sand with a stick. So when I grew up, I just kind of did that with a city. No. <laughs> See, this is what I fucking meant. I called that shit. <laughs> That's great. That's fucking amazing. Even with the bar up front, I'm sure you get VIP treatment in the bar up on the top. And not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. I got it, but then I went there too often with my friends to get shit faced, and then, then they were like, "Dude, we can't do this all the time." Like, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, I see one more gentleman there in a pink shirt. Austrian, yeah, see, look everybody, look. That is, that is the true Austrian pattern recognition. He didn't try to turn back, he just made eye contact, he's like, pink shirt, hmm? I felt Austrian, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was either gonna shout Austrian immediately or write a complaint letter. These were like the proper Austrians, like, no. This. Okay, so sir, uh, who are you here with tonight? Yeah. <laughs> See, see, he, he didn't try to dodge the first one. He tried to dodge it in the second round. He was like, the pink shirt, Austrian. See how cool he is? So who are you here with? I don't mean. Who do you mean? I don't know. How could I possibly know? Okay, yes. Sir in the pink shirt from Austria. Who are you here with? <laughs> who is actually from Vorarlberg. Ah, I see, I see. For all of you foreigners who are, have been maybe in Austria recently, having trouble understanding Viennese German, Go to Vorarlberg, <laughs> and then when you come back, Viennese German is going to just be like, oh, I can understand this clearly. This is fantastic. Like, German Germans speak proper German, then Austrians put a little tang on it in their own way. They make it a lot. And then when you go to Vorarlberg, they change that to the Arabic language. 